All right, thanks a lot. A lot going on in our nation's capital. Yes, there are a lot of headlines about the adult film star and alleged affair with Donald Trump before he was president. But a new CNN poll shows the president has his high, highest approval rating in 11 months. And what you should, what do we make of that $1.3 trillion omnibus bill? Joining us this morning to talk about that is Congressman Gary Palmer. Always good to see you when you make it into the district. Talk about this, this omnibus bill. First, the president threatened to veto it. Then he signed it in, into the law. Uh, what are we really getting with this bill? Well, it's hard to say. I, uh, we're getting a lot more on our, uh, in terms of debt. Uh, as I pointed out yesterday, if we'd taken out every dime of funding for the military, we would still have been close to $250 billion in deficit spending, mm -hmm. which speaks volumes about uh, where we are with entitlements and, and uh, the discretionary spending. Um, in terms of the military, uh, I felt like uh, the Senate Democrats were holding us hostage, uh, threatening to tie up the military funding, which we have passed at least twice, maybe mm -hmm. three times out of the House at the levels that were in the bill uh, that we passed on Thursday. Um, but I think it's a problem. There are 90 of us voted no. Yeah, a lot of Alabamians looking at what's, what's actually happened there in our nation's capital these days from both Democrats and Republicans, also the White House. They're wondering, what's going on? It, it, it seemed like Things are not functioning the way that they should be functioning. What's your take on that? They're not. Congress is broken. Um, we should have a, an appropriations process that works. Um, each year, there should be 12 appropriations bills passed. We passed all 12 of them back in September for this fiscal year. Uh, sent them to the Senate, and they did nothing with them. In, in the last five years, out of 60 appropriations bills, there hasn't been a single one that's been passed on time. Uh, how much of stories like Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal and the Russian investigation, how much is that impacting things to keep it broken? Uh, none on our end. I mm -hmm. mean, that's outside of what we do. Uh, this is strictly a problem with, with the Senate and how the Senate operates and allowing the, the Democrats uh, to put a hold on every no bill. no distraction with all these stories like that going on? No, that's not that's part of any discussion that I'm a part of. It has nothing to do with the appropriations process. The appropriations process, like I said, in the last five years, out mm -hmm. of 60 appropriations bills, mm -hmm. we haven't passed a single one on time. Well, certainly that seems that a predates Trump. That predates yeah. all the other things that the media seems to be focused on. Yeah, a lot focused on that. Certainly um, seems to be uh, distracting the White House. But despite all that, CNN polls showing that 42 percent of the people polled approve of Trump handling the uh, presidency, 54 percent disapprove. It's up seven points since February. So he's enjoying some, some good ratings right now. I would say that's primarily because of the tax cuts and people seeing more money in their paychecks. Uh, unemployment is at record lows. It's uh, at record lows for mm -hmm. African Americans, for women. Uh, we're seeing more businesses come back to the United States, and I think there's overall a sense of optimism about uh, at least the economic future of the country. Well, let's stick around and talk about that 7 o'clock at the top of the hour. If you can, we're going to go to Facebook Live, talk more with Congressman Gary Palmer. I know there's a lot to talk about. We want to break down more on that omnibus, omnibus bill. Omnibus. Omnibus bill when we come back. That's one of those words. Yeah.